What's happening, guys? This is the Grand Master of Faster, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. In the previous episode, we cleared Moonlit Grotto and obtained the third essence of time. And in this episode, we are going to travel to northwest to Lina City. Northwest of Lina City, excuse me, because the Maku Tree said she heard an essence there. And now that we have the Seed Shooter, we can burn this tree away in order to hit that switch, which will bridge the gap. Yay! Now we can get across. To encounter a new enemy, these guys are Buzz Blobs. Um, you cannot hit them with your sword because they will electrocute you, so I think that Ember Seeds are personally the best way to deal with them. And we have another new enemy. These are River Zoras. They appear from the, uh, bodies of water in order to spout fireball- spit fireballs at it at you. Well, this place looks pretty peaceful. Whoa! Water! Water! Everywhere! Uh, by the way, these uh, areas are known as the Nun Highlands, so let's talk to this guy and see what's up. Those lazy, worthless fools! Just as we're building this bridge to the Symmetry City ruins, they go off on break! I wait and I wait, but they don't come back. We'll never get the bridge done at this rate. I'd go find him, but the terrain round here is too rough. A man can't navigate it on his own. Pah! What a fix! Get it? Because he's a construction worker? And he fixes things? Ha ha ha! That's not funny. Hey, what's this? Why, hello, Miss Fairy! We haven't seen you in a while. In fact, we haven't seen you for at least a couple of episodes. But according to her, a red lizard thing got trapped in the forest, and... She needs our help getting it out. Honestly, you'd think they'd learn from last time. But I guess it's implied that these fairies might be a little bit younger than Link is. And Link's like maybe, what, 11 or 12 years old, I'm guessing, in these games. But anyway, let's head down to the fairies' woods and see what's up. Yep, they're starting to... they're up to their old tricks again. In terms of confusing poor innocent creatures that get lost in the woods. Hey! That's no ordinary red lizard thing! That's our friend Dimitri! D, every place looks the same. How can Dimitri get out? D, you helped Dimitri on the island. You have good timing. Mister, you found it! Okay, we'll take you to the edge of the forest. Yah! Not too shabby. You won't get lost here. Sorry, we didn't mean it, but seeking is more fun than hiding. Really? I want to do it again. Next time will be harder. Come play with us again, okay? Goodbye! Sadly, we won't because that's the last time we'll ever see them. I'm so happy to leave. You helped me twice. Who are you? Link? That's a weird name. But starting today, Link is my friend. Hey, nice flute, Link. Play that flute. I will come if I hear the flute. And the strange flute is Dimitri's flute. Play it to call Dimitri. Just a quick recap of what Dimitri can do. Press the A button to eat enemies. He can swim in and he can swim in bodies of water, even up waterfalls, and you can carry and throw him with the power bracelet. Although I have to say that's kind of, that ability is kind of moot because he can pretty much one-shot every enemy in the game. Well, almost every enemy. But anyway, I should probably mention something about the Nun Highland. And I will explain to uh, and I will explain it why this guy's talking. The layout of the Nun Highlands will change depending on which animal partner you have. As you can see, as you saw in those screens, uh, if you pick Dimitri, then there are going to be bodies of water. There, then the then the Highlands are going to have a lot of water 
surrounding them. If you choose, uh, yes, yes, we know you can swim up waterfalls. If Moosh is your partner, then there are going to be lots of pits for you to fly over. And finally, if Ricky is your animal partner, then there's going to be lots of uh, grass for you to blow away with his tornado punches, as well as cliffs for you to jump on top of. Anyway, let's, uh, let's uh, swim up here and into this little cave right here, where we see several... I'm guessing those blue things are pieces of coral. I can't think of anything else that could possibly be. But here we have a ring! Yay! We could always use more rings. Um... While the animal partners are still on my mind, I should uh, give a quick recap as to how to obtain each of them in Oracle of Ages, and... DUDE! He just jumped over water. Over and across water, I should say. That is a darn impressive feat. I have to give credit where credit is due. Come to think of it, I wonder how uh, all the uh, construction workers got on got up here. Because as you can see, they hopped over cliffs like... They leaped tall cliffs in a single bound, as cliched as that sounds. But anyway, in order to get... In order, if you wanna, if you want Moosh as your partner, just go up to the Nun Highlands like normal, and then you'll automatically receive Moosh's flute. If you uh, want Dimitri as your partner, as you saw me do in the previous video, uh, you will have to buy the strange flute at the shop for a whopping 150 rupees. So make sure you save some up. And if you want Ricky as your partner, you'll have to travel back to Lina Village in the past and then get a good score on the Shooting Gallery minigame. Remember that game where you hit the balls to uh, destroy the targets. I can't remember off the top of my head how many points you need, but you do need to get a certain amount if, uh, in order for the shopkeeper to give you the flute. Wow, that flute really does work! Okay, it works in most places, but there are certain areas in which it won't work. But anyway, we have some more new enemies. These guys are Dark Nuts. They will shoot arrows at you. Think of them as stronger versions of Moblins. Too hot! It's boiling hot here! You go alone, Link! Oh, relax! How hot could it possibly be? Okay, it might be a little warm, and aside from the fact that there's lava everywhere, as well as fire monsters, I think this is a fairly hospitable place. Ah, no, I'm making no secret. It's pretty much sad here, as indicated by the music. Can't remember what these fire monsters are called, but, uh, first time they appear, they'll, uh, toss fireballs at you and remain in place. Here, we have something interesting. There are two time portals in this, uh, section. But more importantly, you got Gale Seeds! Their gust can take you where you want to go. Open your seed satchel to use them. Uh, Gale Seeds let you teleport to any mystical seed-bearing tree that you have seen throughout your adventure. So they're a really great way to get around very quickly. But anyway, let us head back to the past to see just what's wrong with Symmetry City. Or Symmetry Village, in this case. So let's head on here to see what all the hubbub is about. Help! Help! The Toonie Nut is broken! What? Will you listen to my problem? Okay, I guess so. The closer the Black Tower gets to completion, the stranger this city gets. When the Toonie Nut broke, the city fell out of balance, and the volcano started erupting. The Toonie Nut is the city's symbol. We dutifully worship this nut. The rules of Symmetry City require that left and right be in perfect balance, but the Toonie Nut at the center of the city is broken. 
Symmetry City is all out of balance. If we don't get the tuning up fixed and put back, Symmetry City will be destroyed by the eruptions. Do you understand? I guess I do, if it's that dire. I've given the broken tuning up to my husband, but he can't climb Restoration Wall. Eh, hey, you heard our objective. We gotta go get the tuning nut from somewhere in Symmetry City. So, uh, let's go in here and talk to you. Ow! I was injured by a rock that shot out in the eruption. If you want the tuning nut, go see my brother across town. Yeah, and not only is the entire town symmetrical, but the layouts of the houses are symmetrical as well. And whoa, 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 whoa! Eruption, eruption! Ugh. Okay, let's talk to you. You've got the tuning nut, I assume. The closer the Black Tower gets to completion, the stranger the city gets. When the tuning nut broke, the city fell out of balance, and the volcano started erupting. I want to take the tuning nut to Patch's place. But I can't leave the city alone. This is Symmetry City. Left and right have to be in perfect balance. My brother is too hurt to move, so I can't move either. If one brother goes somewhere, the balance between left and right will be lost. But someone has to go. Hey! You can ignore the rules and leave the city. Can you take the tuning nut to Patch? Yes, I can. Really? Thank you! I'll leave this to you. Patch lives at the top of Restoration Wall to the south. After you get the tuning nut fixed, take it to the house in the middle of the city and place it on the pedestal. And with that, we got the tuning nut. So let's head over to see if we can find this Restoration Wall. And we've got Blue Dark Nuts now. Yeah, fun, isn't it? Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and explore the mountains, the, or as the game uh, names them, Talus Peaks. Okay, now we actually want to, well, not head up here, but we want to head right over to that patch of water right there. Because this is going to lead to something that is quite important. Oh, and uh, first time we've seen uh, these guys, yes, those are indeed Cheap Cheeps from the Mario series. They just they just swim around, begging you to slash at them with your sword, but... Hmm, this is interesting. Who are you, I must ask? I am Taki. I research time. After many years of research, I'm one step away from perfecting a tune that lets one move forward in time. But it seems I've hit a roadblock. Echoes produce waves. What could it mean? It means that we have to play the tune of Echoes. That's the tune of Echoes! That's the tone my research lacked. It has answered my remaining questions. Now I can finish my tune. Hmm, I wonder if Beethoven hopped around, hopped on tables while singing when he was trying to write his symphonies. Ye of many tunes, I grant you a new tune. Time flows on when you play the tune of currents. When you play this tune, you'll immediately drift back to your own time. If you are in a place from which you cannot reach your own time, you'll return to the past. And with that, we have learned the tune of currents. Play it to move from the past to the present. Choose it when you use the harp. Yes, with the tune of currents, we can now travel from the past to the present. Which will allow, which will make navigating Talus Peaks a little bit easier. 
So, I think now is a good time to stop. So next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, we are going to use the new tune that we just learned and hopefully make our way to Restoration Wall in order to repair the tuning nut. As usual, please be sure to leave a like or comment below and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. See you guys next time.